questioned, can it get any easier than this? What? What am I talking about? Back in a minute. Hey, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Not only do I like to save money, but I like to save me some time, effort, energy, even sanity, and definitely clean up. What are you looking at? Well, it is not cooked yet. I want to show you a method that I came up with to make meatloaf. There is no reason on God's green earth why you need a ton of mixing bowls and all this extra stuff to clean up. Uh, 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 uh. You can make what I call a dump meatloaf. Now, this doesn't sound pretty. It's like using the same method that you would use to make a dump cake. All I literally did was take my loaf pan. I put in my ground beef. I added two eggs. I added some little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Very, very simple, but I did take another ingredient, breadcrumb, flavored breadcrumb. I eyeballed it, but instead of using my typical can of tomato sauce inside, or many people use ketchup, I decided to try something different. I put in a can of, I don't know how it's going to come out. It's probably going to taste delicious, but I wanted to bump it up to a different level. So what did I add to it? I added a can of of tomato soup. I didn't add any water to it. I put the tomato soup in. You could see it a little more clearly. Let's see over here. I have to just mix it up a little bit more, but I mixed everything up in this pan. Of course, I sprayed it first with nonstick, put everything in, and then I'm just going to shovel this into the oven at 350, some people do meatloafs at 375, 400, but I've never had a problem at 350 for about 40 minutes. Now with the soup, I've got to keep an eye on it because I don't know. I never used it with the tomato soup before, but I'm going to start looking at it at about 30, 35 minutes to make sure that nothing, you know, caramelizes way too much. I don't know that. But the thing is, I'm sure it's got to taste good. I didn't want ketchup. I didn't want tomato sauce. I wanted something in between. Has anybody out there ever used condensed tomato soup in this recipe? If so, let me know. It gives it a healthy boost because there are a lot of health benefits to tomato soup, just in case you didn't know. And talk about fast and easy on those tiring nights. Take the one pan, put it all together in here, shovel it in your oven. There you go. Does it get easier than that? Serve it with a side order of canned veggies or frozen and you are done. There you go. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City, and I am looking forward to trying this. <laughs> I'll let you know in the comment section how it turned out. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care now. Bye-bye.